We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Montgomery Biscuits and the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Jordan Belazovic, the right-hander from Canada, will be the starting pitcher. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release point or he'll be more likely to miss up in the zone. Into the box now, Wander Franco. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. First pitch, seven o'clock. The wind up and the 0 1. Ripped on the ground to first. He's right there, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. That accepted. The captain, Brett Sullivan. Now at the plate, Brett Sullivan. First delivery to him on the way. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Game time temperature tonight, a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. Here's the 0-1. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. That is third. The center fielder, number 28, John Lowe. Coming to the plate now, Josh Lowe, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here's the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. And his pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now. Blew that fastball right by him. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Brent Honeywell, a right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Digging in now, Jimmy Kerrigan. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Blue Wahoo. The center fielder, Jimmy now here it comes. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. And they've taken a one-run lead. Sure, you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. Standing in now, Mark Contreras. This is pulled into right. Bolt is there and he'll bring this one in. Batting third. Not shortstop. Right. 
Lewis. Stepping up now, Royce Lewis. One run in and one gone so far at this inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a drive out toward the gap in left center. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double against him now. And we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Into the box, Jose Miranda. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And that's the second out. So digging in now, Caleb Hamilton. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. First pitch of the at bat. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1-0. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Vidal Brujan. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch on its way. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. One and one to count. And there's ball two now. Two one. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on and he had no answer for it. In now, Carl Chester. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. The one two gets him looking up around the letters hate to be Captain Obvious here but he looks great to begin this start that's already three K's for him in the first five hitters it'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace stepping in Kevin Padlow first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better now the pitch and he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 and 0. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kerrigan will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Now at the plate, Peter Mooney. He's set to lead off the home half Leading of the second. The the second base First delivery Peter. to him on the way. Mooney. On the ground to the right side. 
And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. That is that. The designated hitter. Nick Gordon. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring in the speedy Nick Gordon. Here's the first pitch to him. Liner toward right center. And now a lunging catch, and he does a full gainer as well, but somehow hangs on for the second out. Andrew In now, Andrew Bechtold to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a swing, and oh, man. Way out of here. Definitely off to a shaky start tonight, giving up two home runs in two innings. The good news is they were both solo shots. The bad news is the rest of the lineup is salivating in the dugout, waiting for their chance to face him. To the plate now, Akil Badu. As he sends it on the ground to first, reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Wahoos are on top, two to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Xavier Edwards. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Batting it. The third baseman, number three, Grant K. So coming to the plate, Grant K. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Here's one that misses high, it's one and one. One out, nobody on. Yeah. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. This is why it's so hard to be That's successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. So now to the plate, Ryan Bolt. And he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Rip down the line. And there's their first hit of the game. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That was some great situational hitting there after surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two-bagger. At the plate, Wander Franco, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this.
bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Jimmy Kerrigan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to center field. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Lead off single to start the third right now. From an offensive standpoint, keep the aggressive at bats happening. Keep the pressure on the defense. Everything's looking good right now. Stepping in now, Mark Contreras. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And it's gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field as they move on top four to nothing. Nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Into the box now, Royce Lewis. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Wind up and the 0 1 to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting, third baseman, first pass, Miranda. Stepping in, Jose Miranda. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Now At the plate now, Caleb Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field as they pile on. It's now six to nothing. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Yeah, Matty V. How about this, D. Rowe? If you come to watch offense, you've picked the right game to come and see. Five bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're making fun right now of the guys who don't have a homer in this one. Skipper out of the dugout making the slow trek to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Ryan Schaefer, the 6 5 right hander, takes over on the mound. Standing in now, Peter Mooney. The second baseman, Peter Mooney. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Lifted into center field. Low. Is there two gone? The batter, number one, designated hitter. 
Nick Gordon. Next will be the designated hitter, Nick Gordon. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Taken high and deep to right. Looking up is the right fielder. Still ranging back. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as this lead swells to seven to nothing. one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it back to back jacks a solo shot here to left his second of the game as they've widened this lead to eight now job description of reliever there's no mention of back-to-back -back homers but there is a need for a short memory we'll see if he can put those two bombs behind him at the plate the kill the dude the white kill swing and a drive this one's deep to right Gone! You gotta be kidding me! Back to back to back home runs! A solo shot here to straightaway right field as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Jimmy Kerrigan pulled high in the air out to left field. Chester is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. Final damage here, 10 come to the plate, 7 runs score. Three innings complete. The Blue Wahoos lead it 9 to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Brett Sullivan. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team to lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front couldn't keep it fair. And he lays off for ball one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number 28, Josh Lowe. Into the box now, Josh Lowe looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the now second out. Second base. Vidal. Bruhan. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Vidal Bruhan. He'll swing it from the left side right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. 
And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Pensacola's out in front here, nine to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, Mark Contreras. No outfielder. Here's the first pitch to him. Line shot to first, and there's one away. It's a bullpen game for them now as we have a look at the starter's final line. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. One of the tough things to do when you're trying to have a good pitching performance is keep the ball in the ballpark. He was filling up the strike zone, but he did allow two home runs. Striding into the box, Royce Lewis. One for two, including a double back in the first. High and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now that the third baseman. Okay. Ready for another chance. Jose Miranda. He's working on a one for two game so far. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Low is there, and it's a three pitch inning as the side is retired. Ball set for the start of the inning, and digging in is the outfielder, Carl Chester. First delivery to him on the way. Popped high in the air. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop up to start the inning. Digging in, Kevin Padlow. He's 0 for 1 thus far. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a solo shot here to left center field, and they're now on the board, though still well behind. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging, but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely. So now to the plate, Xavier Edwards. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now 0 and 2. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Stepping in now, Grant K. Fouled away. Here's the 0 1. And he popped him up. Beck told has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lined into left center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Now batter, right field. Ryan. Standing in now, Ryan Bolt. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. 
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. The next 0 2. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Wahoos are on top, 9 to 1. Joe Ryan, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Ready once again, Caleb Hamilton. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. First pitch coming, here it is. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now that. Now at the play, Peter Mooney. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Rounded back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, now kept back. his hands the inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. In now, Nick Gordon as he rips it on the ground to second. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Five innings complete. The Blue Wahoos lead it 9-1. to one. Ready now, Wander Franco. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Popped him up. Lewis has a play. One away. Now Brett Now in the box, Brett Sullivan. He flew out in his last at bat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Madu is there. Two down. The center fielder, number 28, Josh Lowe. Now at the plate, Josh Lowe. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus. And the shortstop is under it to make the play, retiring the side. So nothing happening this time around. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. Pensacola's out in front here, nine to one. Andrew Bechtold will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. First pitch of the at bat. This one's down to third. Reined in. And there's one away. Now back. Now to the plate, Akil Badu comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. So striding forward now, Jimmy Kerrigan. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bolt will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. At the plate, Vidal Bruhan. He was a ground out victim last time up. 
First delivery to him on the way. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. A 1 1. Pulled toward right center field. Badu moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. Into the box, Carl Chester. Here's the first pitch to him. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Now a fastball oh, off the that. plate away, a ball and a strike. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. This one's down to third. And there aren't two away now. The first base. Kevin's striding in. Kevin Padlow. He's one for two in this one. First pitch on its way. Uh, looked like he was swinging no matter what that time as he goes way out of the zone at that offering. It's 0-1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. No, that missed that's the ball. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a ground ball to third, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at-bat. 2-2 one more time. Gets him looking up around the letters. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. 9-1 to one is the way this one ends. The Blue Wahoos jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Jordan Belazovic is credited with the win. Brent Honeywell struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. They have our final line score. First for the victorious Blue Wahoo.